With the recent rebrand to Halo Studios, it makes me wonder what does that actually mean to be Halo Studios, right? Studios plural, as in there are multiple studios working on Halo, which kind of would make sense about everything. And that's really just because Halo is such a large project. Having it under all one roof might be just too much for one studio to handle. And also if we're looking to have multiple projects in the works that we currently know of at the moment, when it comes to things being made about Halo, you're gonna need multiple studios to work on that. Hence the rebranding from 343 Industries to Halo Studios. One of those studios seems to have had uh, a recent change when it comes to who's calling the boss over there, I guess is the way to put it. One of the uh, main studios that's been supporting Halo for decades now at this point, even before Bungie left Halo, this studio was supporting them for the longest time. And that studio being Certain Affinity. And this studio has been here for the longest time, helping support creating the content that is needed for Halo. I mean, we're going all the way back. We're talking about the Blastacular map pack for Halo 2, like way, way, way back then. So we're talking like one of the longest running histories of a studio supporting Halo, making content th for them, and also throughout the decades as well. If you kind of go even you know further into, I guess, the future, I guess you want to call it, I mean, they helped work on Halo Waypoint, uh, the Defiant map pack for Reach. We also had Combat Evolved Anniversary through this website, so I can funky on me. The Bullseye map pack, the Majestic map pack, the Castle map pack, Halo 4, just overall in general, the Master Chief Collection, they're basically the ones that help just basically make the Halo 2 Anniversary multiplayer. That's sort of an affinity for pretty much the whole thing. And of course, Halo Infinite as well. I'm sure many of you remember this tweet where we're like, oh my God, the Battle Royale is actually happening because this is when back, what? It was in uh, April of 22, so quite some time ago, when Sonar Infinity announced that they're deepening their roots when it comes to working with 343 at the time, now Halo Studios, to just make it just much more part of the entire experience. Well, Sonar Infinity just recently had some news drop for them that. I don't know if it's a concerning thing, but it's certainly something to take note of as a Halo fan because Sonar Infinity has been such a massive part when it comes to the content development for Halo games and also potentially was going to be making that Battle Royale like it can, which is an absolute shame, let's be real. But this news recently dropped and it's saying that Sonar Infinity has been acquired by Keywords Studios. If you don't know what Keyword Studios is, they're basically a studio that helps provide services to other studios. They actually have a lot of studios. We're talking like this long list right here that I found on Wikipedia. These are all the studios involved under Keyword Studios. So they're a massive team that pretty much helps fund and create a lot of content for these other studios out there to help kind of just give them like the support that they need. And that's exactly what's going on right now with certain Infinity and this uh, Insider Gaming article kind of goes a little bit into. Uh, saying from the uh, developers themselves, like most notably Max Hoberman, who's the head of the studio, you know, former Bungie employee, basically just saying that how like this acquisition is going to be helping them like make the games that they want to make, uh, also help create different types of places where they can grow and uh, their development capabilities, and things like that. Just it really just kind of sounds like, hey, they're just going to give us a lot of money because they believe in what we're doing. And because uh, Sony Infinity has a very successful track record when it comes to making things for just other games in general, right? Like they've worked on Call of Duty, Hogwarts Legacy as well. Very successful titles. Uh, but the big thing that makes me a little worried, right, is hearing such a important studio like Certain Affinity be acquired by another studio. It makes me wonder like, okay, well, we all know that Halo's not in the greatest place it could be right now. So does that mean that we could see Certain Affinity shift focus from Halo and making the content creation side of things for Halo be a little more difficult? Well, potentially, but maybe not at the same time. Because a big thing I was noticing when I was doing my research, but like, how does this actually affect the entire process of specifically what's Halo related? Uh, when I was looking at the lists right here of all the different studios that are underneath Keyword Studios, a key one I saw was, no pun intended obviously, Sparasoft. Which I was like, okay, I recognize that name. How is Sparasoft involved with Halo? Well, they've been basically carrying the content load when it comes to just anything that's Halo Infinite right now. Uh, you can see right here from Sparasoft Studios right here on their website. Uh, this was posted back in 2020 about how they're collaborating with 
343 Industries, now Halo Studios. But Sparisoft has been the team that's been working really hard and making like all those developer made Forge maps that haven't really been like the craziest maps out there, but they function well enough to be released out to the public. This is kind of like what they've been doing. So they're still able to create things with Halo. So it seems like more that like this keyboard uh, studios acquisition of Sword Infinity probably would just help provide things that Sword Infinity needs to be able to get things across the finish line or just help give more opportunities for Sword Infinity to create the things that they want to make. But especially when it comes to the other stuff that they're working on, because Sword Infinity is not just sticking with Halo. They're working on a lot of other things right now. Uh, specifically, they're working on an original FPS game after years of assisting at Halo and other games as well. Uh, of course, we don't really know exactly the involvement of Sword Infinity when it comes to uh, Halo at the moment right now. We could assume they're going to be continue on, continuing on their support. That's just that's kind of what their bread and butter has been, right? I mean, it's Max Hoberman, man. He helped make Halo 2 multiplayer. He's got to keep it real with us, right? But talking about things like, you know, we're working on the FPS game that was announced, you know, back in 23. Uh, we also have heard rumors about their Monster Hunter-like game that they're currently working on as well. So they're looking to be much more than just like a support studio, but actually a studio where they actually make their own games, which I think is really the next step for Sony Infinity because they've had that proven track record of success when it comes to what they're working on. I mean, if we just go back to their website right here, again, like all these Halo projects, even though you say what you will about Halo, it's super recognizable and they've had a lot of success with that. We mentioned Call of Duty right here, World of Tanks, you know, Hogwarts Legacy, Hearthstone, like New World, Gotham Knights, like, you know, that didn't really do so great, but like, <laughs> you know what I mean, Doom as well. There's been a lot of really successful titles that they've worked on, even Dead, Dead, Left 4 Dead 4. I'm stumbling over my words because I'm surprised about that after just realizing that just now. <laughs> but like, you can see like a really good track record of things that they've done previously so that's why you're having these investors go like okay certain infinity i see you there and i believe in your product and what you can put together so that's just something i think it's really important to keep in mind when it comes to what's going to be happening with halo moving forward like we have heard a lot of these uh, leaks and rumors recently about like project ecker that was what happened when certain infinity i think what took over the battle royale from 343 industries but then it got put on the back burner because well the entire process of making halo infinity was completely bored from the start from pretty much because that's that uh, the engine for slip space just ain't it chief you know they were struggling for the longest time when it comes to that stuff now will we see a change when it comes to certain infinity and halo studios i think certain infinity will still fall underneath the umbrella as we saw previously with sparisoft working very closely with Halo when it comes to making content uh, for the next future, for the future of this game, right? Uh, you know, even uh, Certain Infinity, when they were posting about job postings, about, you know, when they made that announcement about deepening their roots with Halo just two years ago, almost every job description that they posted at that time, I remember vividly, because I was like, is this the Battle Royale? They pretty much every job description mentioned about having experience with Unreal Engine 4 obviously move over to engine, engine 5, I can imagine not being that huge of a leak when it comes to development, where you know, obviously you probably get a lot more tools and fun things to play around with in 5 compared to Unreal 4, but still, it's Unreal. The foundation's there, that is certain infinity, they're very familiar with this engine and pretty much the industry standard now that like, we can expect some really great stuff coming from uh, the studio. Hopefully we're involved with Halo. I'm assuming yes, but again, we won't fully know. Because Sony Infinity's always been kind of just like a, a studio that's been working in the backgrounds for the longest time for Halo and doesn't really pop up when it comes to uh, saying like, oh yeah, we made this, we did that for Halo. We generally don't really find out until like the game actually releases and we look into the credits and we're like, oh hey, that's Sony Infinity, that's Max Hoverman's team. Yeah, remember the classic Halo guy? Yeah, he's still working on Halo. That's awesome. So uh, for now, I would say, don't lose your mind too much about this news right now, but I think it's really important to take note of to see whether or not this acquisition from Keyword Studios directly affects Halo in any kind of way, because it's a major studio for Halo Studios to have involved with the projects that they're working on. And if Sony Infinity has to move resources off of Halo to work on their own games that they're working on right now, or Call of Duty, or whatever other games they're looking to support in the future, I mean, this could indirectly affect Halo quite a bit, especially since we know that Halo hasn't really been in the best state when it comes to uh, 
profiting and also its uh, notoriety within the gaming community as well. Things are kind of falling off a little bit. Uh, but you know, we'll definitely keep a close eye on this topic as well because we're Halo fans. We're Halo fans on this channel, guys. We gotta stay up to date with all that kind of stuff. If you guys enjoyed this type of video, like, subscribe. It's always appreciated. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.